Ему 26 лет. Рост 180 сантиметров, вес 83,8 килограмма. Его профессиональный рекорд 13 побед при двух поражениях. И его стиль ММА. Дамы и господа, из Махачкалы приветствуйте Магомед Расу Гасанов. Его соперник в красном углу клетки. Бойцу 29 лет. Рост 177 сантиметров. Вес 84,2 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд, 13 побед, 5 поражений и его стиль борьба. Там и господа из Красного Фатом Хусейн Кушагов. Рефери поединка Виктор Корнеев. So, Виктор Корнеев is a referee in charge and here is the tail of the tape. Well, the fighters are pretty equal. According to the statistics, so let's see it. Hussein is in the center of the cage. Pushing his opponent to the fence. Just like I told you that, Magomed Rasul is pretty good at striking. Especially at kicks. Uh, sometimes he produces very strange and weird kicks, but still it work. Nice leg kick by Gasanov. Another leg kick, pretty tough one by Gasanov. An inside leg kick from Kushagov. I think that will be it will be a collision of the styles, you know, because uh, Hussein Kushagov is a wrestler. Yeah, his background is wrestling, and uh, Magomed Rasul prefers to stay on his feet. He prefers to strike. So, so that's why Magomed Rasul tries to keep the distance, trying to tries to shoot from the long range. Front kick from Gasanov. Good defense. Good Rasul. Oh, what a combination from Kushagov. Actually, he decided to run forward with strikes, but Magomed Rasul was more than ready for that. Another combination, but still no responding from Magomed Rasul Gasanov. And his corner shouts him to fight back. He shouts, uh, the corners shout him to, to exchange. Nice combination from the Sana. So far the fighters are not in a rush. Nice double right hand from Magomed Rasul. Combination from Hussein, but so far the shots are not accurate. Inside low kick, you see that Kushagov attacks the calf of Magomedrasul and takes down the hand by Gasanov, but Kushagov shows a very good defense. So is trying to put his opponent to the ground. Nice, very nice move by Magomed Rasul Gisanov. Good takedown. Now Gisanov goes to the side control. No, not now. It's not a clean side control actually. No, it's not a fly guard from Hussein Kushago. Magomed Rasul is trying to get rid of that guard. Try to pass it. Some leg kicks from Gasanov and uh, now Kushagov is on his feet. <laughs> My mind, uh, Hussein Kushagov starts to slow down a little bit. Oh no! I was wrong. It was a massive, massive left hook from Kushagov and now he is on top. Take down from Kushagov here, but Magomed Rasul immediately stands up. 
Big uppercut from Gasanov now. And the guillotine choke attempt from Hussein Kushagov. There is a control, but it's not good enough, I think. And uh, Magomed Rasul Gasana tries to break that uh, grip, tries to avoid that control and go to the half guard position. 35 seconds. Oh, nice. Very nice connection from Gasana. Several blistering shots from Magomed Rasul. He continues hitting. Fifteen seconds to go and a very strong finish from Magomed Rasul Gasanov in this round. And that's it for now. One minute break. Well, if you can hear the crowd, uh, you can hear that. The, the teams, not spectators, but the teams, well, they start to, well, to be more tense, to be more emotional. And uh, I think that as long as this fight will last, the emotion will rise up. And by the way, we see Albert Durayev in uh, Hussein Kushagov's corner. On that drive, by the way, is the ACA champion in the middleweight division. One of the most dominant fighters in this league. Not only in the middleweight division, but in this league. And now he's also coaching Hussein Kushaga during the break. There it is. Round. Round. Boy. Here we go. Round number two. Magomed Rasul Gasanov in the blue corner versus Hussein Kushakov in the red. It was a pretty close first round, but I think a slight advantage was in the favor of Magomed Rasul Gasanov. Another front kick to the body from the fighter from Dagestan. A Superman punch from Kushakov, but missed. Oh, nice, nice hit from Kushaga. And Magomed Rasul got a little bit stunned. And another big uppercut from Gasana. And the exchange, a takedown attempt, but nicely defended by Kushaga. And as for me, Hussein Kushaga is willing to fight in stance now because he actually felt his distance. He felt his timing, his moment, so that's why I think that he will try to stay on his feet maybe for several minutes and afterwards when the opponent will be much more tired, he will try to take him down and to control. And by the way, we also see Alexei Yefrema in uh, Kushaga's corner, the member of the Ahmad Fight Club. Nice connection by Gasana again, and a good exchange from Kushaga. A slight mistake, a mistake from Kushagov actually brought him to this position and a good side control. Nice elbow from Gasanov. Hussein Kushagov has to get out of here. Otherwise he will be bitten by the elbows, by sharp elbows from Gasanov. Maybe he can get caught or maybe he can get knocked out. Nice, very nice connection by Kazanov. Shot to the body by Magomed Rasul. He's on his feet, he's in control, and he has a very good position to improve. Some ground and pound by Magomed Rasul Kazanov, and once again the side control. We see that Kushagov is defending himself from the full mount position. He fights from his back. But of course, these shots are not that strong as Gasanov's are. Nice hammer fist from Gasanov.
two minutes and 20 seconds to go. And by the way, the episode occurs beside the Magomed Rasul's Gassanov's corner, so that's why his coaches can tell him what to do. And so they do it. Gassanov tries to pass the guard, he tries to put that legs outside. But Kushagov shows a very, very good defense here because he realizes that if Gasanov will succeed in passing the guard, and that is exactly what he's doing in BGJ, there will be three points already. But this is not BGJ, this is MMA, so nice knee to the body. And another one. And in this round, we see a total domination of Magomed Rasul Gasanov. So far, not a slight chance for Hussein Gashaga to escape. But maybe he does it. Oh, nice move by Magomed Rasul. He takes his opponent back. And maybe he will try to finish the opponent with the rear naked choke. He puts the leg inside. And so far, there is no leg control. He has to beat his opponent in order to get the grip. Magomed Rasul Gasanov is not in a rush, he realizes that the time is working on him. He's taking his time here, beating his opponent with the right hand and waiting for the chance to get the grip and to finish Hussein Gasanov. And hard times for Hussein here because he has to struggle, he has to take this punishment and not to give up. Hussein, um, Mohamed Rasul Gasanov is trying to stay busy here. 25 seconds to go in the second. And uh, Gasanov's corner tells him to increase the action, to produce more shots, and to go up to the break. Hussein Koshakov is trying to cover himself up, up and trying to defend himself, but we see that. It's really hard to do, it's really hard to put to life. And that's it for now, end of the second round. A dominant performance by Magomed Rasul Gasana in the second five minutes. And uh, it was really hard for Hussein Kushagov to survive, but he did it. But I'm not sure that he will have enough gas to struggle and to fight. He showed a good opposition in the last round, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to bury anyone too early, too early, sorry. But I'm more than sure that Magomed Rasul Gasana has a big psychological advantage, mental advantage, and of course, he has a very, very big physical advantage. But still, Hussein Kuchokov is in the game and he is still dangerous, so let's see it. So let's see how the last round will go and what is about to happen here. Third and the final round of the bout, Magomed Rasul Gasano versus Hussein Kushagov. A very hard second round for Kushagov. So let's see if he did manage to recover, if he did manage to save some energy for the last and decisive round for both. A leg kick missed by Gasanov. Front kick from Gasanov. A nice leg kick from Kushagov. Nice big right hand by Gasanov again. A front kick, and here comes Magomed Rasul with a, take, with a single leg takedown attempt. But once again, Hussein Gushaga shows showed a pretty good defense, but not too long, because once again, 
he's on his back trying to defend himself but I'm more than sure that will be very hard for him to do because of the amount of the gas and this amount is, is not that big good landing nice accuracy oh big right hand by Magomed Rasul Gisanov Hit of the back of the head by Kushagov and uh, Viktor Kurnev, the referee immediately reacted. We see some blood on uh, Hussein Kushagov's face. Nice connection by Gasanov again, and there comes the big right hand by Magomed Rasul Gasanov. And I think that he's not going to stop engaging, he will continue throw bombs on Hussein Kushagov's head and uh, only God knows how much Hussein Kushagov will be able to stand it nice very nice defensive moves from Hussein Kushagov who is not going to give it up who wants to stay in the game but it will be very hard for him to escape from this position to stand up because Mohamed Rasul Gisanov once again shows a very, very good control. He's staying busy, so that's why he doesn't let uh, Viktor Kurnev to stop the fight and to put them back on their feet. Oh, very nice. Good connection by Gasanov. Hussein Gashakov, eight, three big shots. Shagov closed the guard but not for long Kasanov is on his feet again trying to create some distance in order to punch with a massive massive shot we see some blood coming out of uh, the uh, Hussein Kushagov's eyebrow nice very nice but not good enough of course because uh, Magomed Rasul Kasanov is already on top again he returns the position he returns the dominant position for him and oh he hit the canvas uh, well you know what hitting the canvas this uh, with this kind can be very dangerous for Magomed Rasul Gustano because he can injury injure his hand but I hope that it will never happen Good shot to the body, to the liver from Magomed Rasul Gusana with the left hand. Gusana's corner tells him to separate immediately and fastly to create the distance again, to create the gap and to throw the shot. Two, maybe four, maybe five, I don't know. A very good, very good shot from, from, the light, uh, from the right and from the left by Magomed Rasul. Five seconds to go. Nice, very nice hit again by Gasanov. That's it. And that's it. End of the fight, and I'm more than sure that Magomed Rasul Gasanov will get the victory. He was so dominant during these 15 minutes. Well, I would like to say in favor of Hussein Kushagov that he struggled well. He he was competitive, he tried to do something, he tried to, um, he tried to struggle, but uh, Magomed Rasul Gasanov was just unstoppable today. So athletic, so dominant, nice control, good shots, nice kicks. He was better practically in all aspects during this fight, so I think it will be a well-deserved victory for Magomed Rasul Gusanov. But now let's hear it from Alexander Zagorski.
единогласным решением судей победу одержал Магомед Расул Касана! Махачкала! И аплодисменты его сопернику Кусейну Кушагову.